Hello and welcome to Non Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is your Friday Night Smackdown review coming to you from a minus three freezing morning in Scotland. <laughs> Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful over notification bell and let's get in there guys. So, we start with a recap of the kind of Owens and Reigns kind of feud. Um, Owens, Reigns and his kind of team are there in the ring. They have an awesome little kind of segment. Opening start to SmackDown was really, really good. It leads into a match tonight between Jay and Owens, which we get throughout the night. You get like wee bits and bobs here and there, um, but the match happens at the end of the show as we would have expected. But um, yeah, it opened very well. Then we got Big E versus King Corbin, which it was a dud, guys. It was Big E won via disqualification. This match was just to set up the next m- match. Then it was Big E and Apollo Crews versus Sami Zayn and King Corbin. Big E and Apollo Crews got the win here. 1.5 stars. Really nothing special. Honestly, I don't know why you didn't know just focusing on like a Big E, Sami Zayn feud. I really think that would be a really cool little feud there. We could run it right into Royal Rumble. For some reason, they've just decided to do a tag team thing. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it wasn't that fun. Then we got... Um, the Riot Squad, Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot versus Natalia and Tamina. The Riot Squad picked up the win here. One, uh, two stars here, guys. Like the like the last match. In the last matches of today was a. Uh, how do you explain it? It, it? it was just there for like. It doesn't really make any sense. It was more like a, the actual like story, which isn't really a story going on than anything else and I really don't know what direction this match was taking anybody in it at all then we got another tag match which was Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair versus Camilla and Bailey. 2.5 stars Bailey and Camilla picked up the win here this was fun it was an enjoyable match nothing special but it had some good action told a story um, and it was probably the best match so far then there was a bunch of kind of segments after that that just weren't really that fun. Then we got the tag team match, Daniel Bryan and Otis versus Cesaro and Nakamura. 2.5 stars. Now, this should have been better than this given the fact that there was some great talent in the ring. I don't I don't get the Bryan and Otis thing. I wasn't really enjoying them teaming up here. I really don't know what... I don't think WWE knows what to do with Otis. And I really don't know what they should be doing with them. I don't have the answers to either. It just wasn't anything kind of... Nothing special here. Then we got Kevin Owens versus G. So Owens picked up the win, as I was going to expect. 2.5 stars here. This was... This is almost a bit the overall story between Owens and Reigns. It was a good kind of enjoyable match. But it was what happened after the match which was even more fun. Um, so it was like handcuffs, Owens was getting beat down with chairs and he was calling out Reigns and stuff like that, it was, it was fun and then uh, Roman throwing Kevin Owens off the kind of staging area bit onto a table was pretty cool but yet that ending bit was probably the best ma- best part of the night. Overall guys, 2.5 stars I gave this show. Once again, the only reason this is really getting this is because the Owens and Kevin Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns feud. That's the only thing that really matters here. The only reason I'm watching Smackdown at the minute is for these reviews and the only thing I'm really looking forward to on it is the Owens and Reigns stuff. Seeing these two guys work together is really, really good. It's refreshing. They're not, they're not breaking the, the records or doing anything mega different, but they're doing stuff that's fun to watch. And you can see the difference between what these guys are doing and what the rest of the roster's doing. Like, they're really... It's just kind of boring. You're not interested in it. But these guys keep you interested. Keep you kind of motivated to keep watching wrestling. Um, but like I say, guys, it's a 2.5 star show. You, to kick off a new year, like, put your best foot forward, as most people always say, for new year. And that just wasn't it at all. It really was boring. Um, yeah. It wasn't good. I didn't enjoy it at all. Uh, apart from the Reigns and Kevin Owens stuff, which was the saviour of the show, um, the tag match with uh, Bailey, Camilla, and Sasha, 
those, those were the saviours of the, the kind of show there, but the rest of the show was just kind of lacklustre. It was a little bit repetitive, kind of boring. Yeah, just lacklustre. But like I say, guys, that range and one stuff is pure, is really fun. I'm excited to see how they're going to keep this going. I think they're going to keep it into the Royal Rumble. Um, but hopefully it becomes something fun or to keep it on past the Rumble. I think that would be really cool as well. And yeah, like I say, those guys saved the show. And we're going to keep it short and sweet today, guys. So don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that notification bell. And tomorrow we've got the Raw Watch along. Monday we've got the uh, WCW watch along, so I hope you enjoy them, and I hope you're out there hitting some goals for the new year. See you later, guys. <laughs>